Okay, so let's talk about acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, also known as AIDS, of course. Okay, so what is AIDS and how can you kind of answer questions that are asking about AIDS and HIV? What's the difference between AIDS and HIV? Okay, so AIDS is a viral disease. It's the symptoms of this viral disease caused by HIV. Okay, so HIV is the virus and AIDS is the set of symptoms, it's the syndrome that is caused by the HIV virus, okay? HIV is the virus, AIDS is the syndrome, the spectrum of disorders, um, the spectrum of conditions caused by the HIV virus, okay? So, what happens here is, is, is it interferes with, the, with and destroys T4, okay? Making patients more susceptible to infections, okay? So, it's infections like TB, pneumonia, cancers, um, and pneumonia again, whoops, um, is what occurs here with patients, okay? So by the destruction of this T4, uh, patients become very susceptible to infections. And as they become very susceptible to infections, of course, they become very sick. And it's, so AIDS is, is a collection of the late symptoms of HIV infection, okay? So the way we're gonna see this in our patients, this is, this is the symptoms and the things that we're going to see with these patients. We're going to see wasting syndrome, where they just become very fragile, very frail. Um, we're going to see skin breakdown, frequent infections, stomatitis, dehydration, malnutrition. They're not going to be able to use the food they take. They're not going to want to take the, any food. Um, we're going to see leukopenia, which is a decrease in white blood cells. And then one thing you need to keep in mind here, and this this will be uh, a, a very like the key symptom that you're ne going to need to keep in mind with AIDS. Um, is Kaposi sarcoma. And what, what Kaposi sarcoma is, is it's a tumor that's caused by the herpes virus, okay? So you're going to see this in your patients. You're going to see this Kaposi sarcoma. It's a purple-red lesion on skin and organs, okay? So if you ever get a question asking about Kaposi sarcoma, you need to be uh, navigating towards an answer that involves AIDS, okay? So this is an example of Kaposi sarcoma. You can see this purplish lesion on this patient's gums here that is the sarcoma you can see it here as well okay and then of course down here also so this would be Carposi sarcoma and this is what it's gonna look like this can be on skin and organs so it wouldn't just be uh, isolated to the mouth but you could see it uh, throughout the patient's body so how are we gonna support these patients remember what we're dealing with here is this this destruction of T4 and this patient becoming much more susceptible to uh, infection okay and so what we're gonna see is the patient's going to need respiratory support. Remember, they're going to be experiencing um, uh, wasting syndrome as well, so we need to keep small, frequent meals. We want to pre-medicate the patient also before any meals, and the reason for that is it helps to prevent nausea. Just giving them even a little bit of food might um, lead them to experience nausea and vomiting, so if we can give them you know, some medication to help uh, prevent that nausea prior to eating, that might help them to be able to take a little bit more food and get them some of the nutrients they need. We want to kind of assess what their favorite uh, what their favorite foods are and provide those to them in small servings uh, and, and make them available to the patient. We're going to want to monitor our fluid electrolyte balance to make sure that they're getting the nutrients, uh, getting the electrolytes that they need. Always be assessing for infection. We can, uh, of course, monitor WBCs, temp, heart rate. Heart rate would go up with infection. Um, any redness, swelling, you know, all the signs that we're going to see with, in, with infection. We're going to want to provide frequent skin care. Remember, the patient's going to experience skin breakdown as they develop all these uh, um, imbalances, especially as, as they become uh, develop this wasting syndrome and they don't have that kind of that fat and that tissue that they need to protect their, their skin from breakdown. So it would be important to provide uh, appropriate skin care um, and, and hygiene for their skin. We're going to want to initiate strict precautions and observe hand hygiene. Um, we don't want to be bringing any infections into this patient. The, the, because it's an autoimmune disease, the patient can become very susceptible to infection. So it's important that we're um, following strict precautions and that we're protecting the patient from um, us, from us, from the other patients. And we're making sure the patient isn't going to get any, be exposed to any infection, okay? 
and we want to conserve the patient's energy. They're going to be very low on energy, so we want to bundle our care, allow rest, and schedule activities and schedule tests, x-rays, um, CT scans, whatever tests we need to do um, at an appropriate time when the patient has more energy and is more capable of completing these tests, okay? So those are kind of some of the therapeutic management things we're going to do for our patient who has AIDS. Um, really the biggest thing to remember here, you want to know about Kaposi sarcoma, and you want to really be able to keep straight that uh, AIDS is a sim is are the kind of the symptoms, the um, kind of collection of symptoms and syndrome and thing that the patient is going to experience if they become infected with the HIV virus, okay? I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure to let